President Biden's decision to unfreeze 7 billion US dollars out of more than 9 billion frozen Afghan assets and splitting the money between humanitarian aid for cash trapped Afghanistan and a fund for 9-11 victims is being seen as a blatant violation of international law and human rights by the experts in Pakistan. After two decades of killings and destruction, followed by a hasty withdrawal, this decision comes at a time when Afghanistan is on a brink of a severe humanitarian crisis. Uh, to begin with, it's quite a surprise because United States stands for rule of law and it has sponsored so many international multilateral conventions relating to human rights. So in that context, this executive order is certainly a matter of great concern uh, for not only human rights perspective, but also from perspective of general international law. When any state owns any assets and those assets are placed in trust in, this for, in a bank in another state, then you are acting as a trustee for the state which owns those assets. And if the trustee acts in a fashion that somehow retards the use of those assets freely by the country which owns them, we call it expropriation. Or you place any encumbrance on them, or you decline to follow the instructions of the, of the state which owns them, then we call it an act which is contrary to the principles of international law. It would be unfair to say that it is not uh, almost like theft uh, or robbery. This is the Afghani people's money that has now been frozen by the government of the United States and they have allocated three and a half billion to the victims of 9-11. It, it is remarkable that when uh, the country is facing such uh, immense crisis that a nation like America, which prides itself on humanitarianism, should deny a country uh, basic funds which would cater for humanitarian needs. Uh, really, there is no justification for it other than it seems an arbitrary and almost petty uh, desire to punish uh, the people. One hopes that is not the case, but that outwardly seems to be the, the case.